The traditional way we've looked at whether countries are performing well economically or not has been to look at measures such as GDP or productivity. The problem with measures like that is that they abstract the notion of economic growth from the people of the country. What human capital does is to say that the future progress of humankind depends upon how we treat the people of a country. And that means thinking about their health and it means thinking about their education. And when you put the two together, health times education, then you get a measure of human capital. And that gives you something exquisitely important in terms of telling you about how a government values its citizens. When governments are thinking about how they're going to unlock economic growth in their countries, oftentimes they're going to think about financial investment or the building of industries or consumption or production, very abstract ideas. But what they often don't think about are their people. What human capital does is bring us back to the people. It tells us that the most important investments that you can make for your economy are investing in people, and that means investing in their health, and it means investing in their education. And if you invest in both of those, those are the keys that will unlock economic growth. So this is an incredibly important message, and it's one that runs counter to many government decisions that we see in rich countries and poorer countries today. One of the weaknesses of the global health community is in the name, that it's only about global health. If we are going to win the struggle for sustainable development, we're not going to win it by focusing on health alone. We're going to win sustainable development by looking at the intersections between the different sustainable development goals. And what human capital is telling us is that one of the most important intersections is between health and education. And if we don't look at the synergies, if we don't look at the links between health and education, we are going to miss one of the best opportunities we've got for advancing and protecting the health and well-being of our citizens in the world today.